Hello everybody, welcome to my channel today. I hope you are all keeping well. By the way, I just want to let you guys know I am so excited about this video today because first time ever I am recording my voice and I hope this video will come out the way we want and the way we want to see and we want to hear. So wish me luck about this. And I'm still also in the training about the recording my voice and all. So I will get there. I will get there. By the way, in this video, I'm going to do mid skin fade with the Super Zero. And I'm making my first line in here. By the way, if you have any question about this video or about this haircut, please comment below. I will answer all your questions myself. And please let me know about the, how you are finding the, this voiceover and how you are finding this uh, video speed and all. And if you want me to fix anything, please let me know. Here I am using my Super Zero, uh, which is called Foil Shaver, a uh, babyless foil shaver. So I am just going to write on the skin with this uh, shaver now. I hope this video is not too fast and not too speedy for you, like not too speed. If you find this video too fast, please let me know. I'm using in here 0 0.5, which call number half all the way close. my first uh, step in here for the fade of course everybody have a different way and different way to make fades and make work uh, or cut hairs you know different ways and different skills uh, but this is the way I find easy for me and just it's just an idea in there basically and hope you will find helpful Here, uh, as you can see, I am using number one all the way open. By the way, I just bought this new JRL clippers, and I have to tell you guys, they are unreal, unreal. I love working with them, uh, especially with the fades and all. They are really cool. They are really cool. Here I am working with number 3 and all the way open.
here I am just uh, working with number three now I'm close in the way so all the way close number three number three working all the way close now in here number one half all the way open again And in here, like you know, uh, like you can you can actually play with the blades. You can knock sometimes like a little bit close, a little bit open, and that's your opinion. The way you feel comfortable, you will work with the blades. Now in here, number one. In here you're gonna notice uh, guys uh, because I'm gonna play on the side with the blade I'm gonna play like a little bit open a little bit close and I'm just kind of like working with my own pinion in there and some areas like heavy some areas are like soft uh, so that's why you know I'm just gonna follow the blade and then wherever blades can take the heavy parts I'm gonna just work uh, on that areas Sometimes I'm open the blade halfway, sometimes I'm open the like quarter way, sometimes all the way open, sometimes all the way close. So I'm just going with the kind of like the way the blade wants to uh, pick up the hair. So on the heavy areas. Of course, while you are doing your skin phase, this will be on your opinion and the way you want to pick the hairs and the way you want to see and the way you want to fade. And also, you know, if you're only learning about the barber, more you do fades and more you do skin fades, and the more you're going to get comfortable, and then you're gonna make the way your own way. Actually, you're gonna make your own way to work with the fades. And so, I wouldn't worry about that too much, you know. And more you practice, you're gonna get more better and better every single time. And here I am working with the 0.5 guard half and exactly the same again like some bits some parts open some part close in here some some parts I'm going to only uh, blend in with the corner of the bla uh, blade only on the, I'm only gonna use the corner of the blades because I don't want to make more line for myself as you can see in here yeah, only working with the corners. Some parts I will only work in with the corners because I don't want to make more line for myself. So when you're doing fade, please be careful that. Now I'm going to work with the zero uh, for the last line on the bottom. If you notice in here some parts I'm only working with the corners again because I don't want to create some more lines for myself so that's why you know if you just like hit the clipper uh, corners the where you want to blend it in that way it will be more easy for you to make the fades more smoother and make the more smooth blendings And also, uh, what I will uh, recommend you guys, sometimes when you are doing skin fade, you know, like when you come to the last parts, like this areas, and then whenever you guys are like, you know, starting to blend in last parts, like especially like in here, for example, working with the, like, uh, the, the detailers and trying to lose the more small lines. And like what I will recommend you guys sometimes, like step back, always like one step back 
kind of look at your fade from one or two step behind because that way you will see more clear here I am trying to lose my last lines just like kind of like touching up details Here I'm just doing some like uh, clipper over comb, uh, just kind of like doing the, some heavy areas on the top area. And when you are doing this technique guys, uh, just please please uh, take your time in here because you don't want to take over too much like hair as well. Uh, sometimes you can open your guard like you know all the way open or you can even extra edit the number one guard or number half guard it will be more easy for you uh, when you are starting uh, at the beginning uh, when you are starting using this technique at the beginning you can always add the numbers as well like number half number one or you know like you can play with the blade as well if you don't want to take too much off here I'm just playing with the tin and scissors as well uh, tin and scissors with the comb kind of like doing a little bit more like touching up blending blending and also like sometimes you know tin and scissors can be very helpful for you to lose the lines or if you create any lines with your scissor for example if you create any line with your scissor uh, it will be very easy for you to lose them uh, scissor lines with the tin and scissors can see this is the result coming up uh, from our uh, fate let me know what you think on the comments uh, section please uh, what do you think about the fate as well top area I'm just doing some like uh, scissor cut as well because uh, our client he wasn't want to take too much off the top took only very little off the edges so that's why you know I was he wasn't really need to put you know on the top anyway he said so, you know just kind of like taking the dead ends just be careful uh, in here when you're doing this technique uh, because on the past, uh, on my experience, you know, uh, take your time uh, with this cutting technique because you know it's so easy to cut your finger in here. Uh, please be careful with that uh, because if you cut your finger, sometimes it can ruin your day. And trust me, you know, you don't want to feel that pain as well. And just be take your time with this uh, technique, please. And because it's not very good experience you know putting your finger on the top of the customer's head as well so uh, if you take it slowly slowly uh, trust me in the time you will become a more faster with this technique as well so but at the beginning definitely take your time and don't rush I'm using tin and scissors in here as well on the edges um, just kind of like texturing the hair and losing the scissor marks but with this uh, technique please don't go uh, too much with the tin and scissors uh, if you do over tin and scissors on the hair that can be ruined the hair as well sometime uh, so that's why you know you have to be Keep your balance when you are using the tin and scissors.
in here I'm just checking the length of the hair and just double checking with the client as well if he's happy and I can apply the products for the styling and in here I am applying for the uh, hair powder um, it's kind of like you know styling powder is a I with this type of hair I always like to use uh, styling powders instead of the, like any wax or gel so that way you know that my client is always this client is always like to use uh, uh, hair styling powder as well so he's happy with that Here I am just uh, before I finish the hair and my client. Uh, I'm just also going back to round the neck and round the edges, just uh, cleaning up, making sure it's all nice and clean before I finish my client. Styling the hair, yeah. Last touch up, and this is our result. Yeah. Make sure you let me know what do you think about this uh, hair tutorial and hairstyle. And if you have any questions, uh, please comment on the below. And also, if you have any suggestions or if you have any recommendations, please comment below, and I will take everything on the board. And if there's anything I can improve better in this video, please let me know, guys. And because this is my beginning of the journey. Uh, on the YouTube of course I'm gonna learn so much stuff and I'm gonna learn lots uh, but thank you so much for watching this video today and thank you for being here and please like the video and subscribe the channel and I wish everyone a happy new year as well take care and stay safe